My name is Michael Smith. I was in the Air Force a sergeant from 1967 to 1973. I was aircraft control and warning operator. While I was assigned to Klamath Falls, Oregon, in early 1970, I arrived at the radar site and they were watching a UFO on a radar that was hovering at about 80,000 feet. It sat there for about 10 minutes and then slowly descended uh, until it dropped off the radar. It was gone for about 5-10 minutes and then instantly reappeared at 80,000 feet, stationary. The next sweep of the radar, it was 200 miles away, stationary. It hovered there for about 10 minutes and redid the whole cycle twice more. When I found out what the normal what you normally do when you see a UFO. I was told that you notify NORAD, you don't necessarily write anything down, you don't write anything down, and you keep it to yourself. It's a need-to-know basis only. And NORAD one night called me about later in the year to let me know as a heads up that there was a UFO coming up the California coastline. I asked them what I should do about this. They said, nothing, don't write it down, just, it's just a heads up. And then late 1972, while stationed at the 753rd Radar Squadron in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, I received a couple of panicky calls from police officers who were chasing three UFOs from Mackinac Ridge up I-75. So I immediately checked the radar, confirmed that they were there, called NORAD, and they were concerned because they had two inbound B-52s going to Kinslow Air Force Base. So they diverted them because they didn't want any proximity of the two. And that night I answered many calls from uh, the police department, sheriff's department and stuff. And my standard response was that there was nothing on radar. And I will testify to this under oath to a congressional hearing. Good morning. My name is Enrique Kolbeck. I am a traffic controller. I'm sorry uh, for my English. I'm so scared. I'm not accustomed to talk in front of a lot of people. Um, I'm here because I'm uh, being a witness in a voluntary way uh, on my work. Uh, I work in Mexico City as radar controller and the International Airport of Mexico. And, uh, I'm going to give an example about this uh, science that we have in Mexico for several uh, years and uh, this uh, issue happens a lot of times in my country, unfortunately. Uh, for example, in March 4, 1992, we detected 15 objects uh, west side of the Toluca Airport that is very close of our international airport at uh, 50 miles more or less. Then uh, uh, July 28, 1994, we have an, uh, um, almost a collision or something that we can name in that way uh, with an international flight, I mean uh, domestic flight of Air Mexico 129, commanded by the uh, pilot uh, Raimundo Cervantes Ruano, that has a trash or something about in his main uh, landing year in the right leg. Uh, that's occurred at night at uh, 10.30 more or less. Then in the next week, uh, the same year, in the same uh, moment, uh, the Aeromexico Fly 904 has another almost collision that was reported for the pilot Corso, the Capitan Corso at 11.30 in the morning and we detect that uh, object on a radar uh, um, suddenly, uh, just for a moment. Then uh, in the next week we have a lot of sightings reported by the pilots that give us information about the uh, weird uh, traffic or something, uh, bright lights and uh, different times and we detect some of them uh, in, in, in that uh, week. 
But in uh, September 15 of 1994, we have a uh, uh, detection about uh, five hours, more or less, on a radar and a new equipment that we uh, believed that uh, that equipment was uh, working in, in not a good way because uh, uh, it's not uh, human that you have uh, detection by five hours of the same object and apparently without movement. Well, we concurred with the technical uh, persons of radar in our country that the radar system was working well and, uh, and, and was very exciting and we surprised when uh, at the next day we received information about uh, of a parodies named uh, Jaime Maussan that is uh, studied these cases in Mexico about that uh, a sighting a lot from a lot of people in the Metepec city uh, a very is in another point uh, located southeast of the Toluca airport about an, uh, uh, sighting of the big um, flying saucer apparently uh, 50 meters of diameter than uh, for a lot of people and uh, w that uh, let the uh, trash is something in, 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 the wor in, in the ground. Well, next in uh, November 90, uh, 24, 1994, uh, we have an, uh, on service officially our new radar system and uh, after that moment we have uh, information very uh, exactly about of these sightings at the same time with the pilots and detections. Uh, that's why I'm here, because we consider in my country that this is very dangerous. We have a lot of more cases, but I don't want to use more time in this. But uh, uh, it's very important that the people uh, on the world knows these events and uh, consider that could be very dangerous for our nautical situation, especially in my country. I don't know why in my country that's occurred frequently, but the the point is that happens, and uh, and we consider it dangerous, and we have only uh, unfortunately one trash, but we don't want to happen another one. Thank you very much, and I'm sorry for my.